Hey everyone, this is Diz Explorer 3 here, and happy Halloween everyone, and also, happy anniversary to this channel. I mean, wow. It's like, like a full uh, 365 days of being a gaming, of like having a gaming YouTube channel is really something, and like having over 150 subscribers, and I have to say thank you to uh, all of you guys here. Um, I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this video as we celebrate the first anniversary of the Diz Explorer 03 uh, YouTube channel. So, like I said in my earlier videos, I said that I was going to do a uh, Q&A for this first anniversary of the Diz Explorer 03 uh, YouTube channel, where you guys were free to answer any questions, well, like to ask any questions um, in my past videos, and I'll do my best to answer as, I'm, as I can. For today, I have, I believe, six questions, uh, questions and comments uh, with here, which is not bad, so... Uh, today I got like a pretty uh, tight schedule today, uh, with uh, being Halloween of course, um, but I will do my best to answer you guys' questions. So, uh, first question here is from uh, Mr. Cool. This is from Twitter. So like I said, um, feel free to um, um, to uh, leave a question or comment on Twitter or uh, YouTube. That's where I usually um, find them. So, Mr. Cool says, how story driven is your last toy box? Battle for the Toy Box. Okay, so um, the Battle for the Toy Box, it's a really ambitious project I'm still in the works on, and it will be very story driven. Like, like I said, it's a story that um, that I've personally written. I'm um, I feel very close with the story, and uh, like I said, I want to give like really good closure to the uh, Disney Fandy franchise since th uh, the franchise as a whole didn't. Uh, just ended abruptly with no ending, so I wanted to give a um, like a um, a really good explanation on why Disney Affinity is ending. Uh, that has to do with the cancellation. It, it'll, the story will somehow like tie into that, but in a unique way. It will definitely and also uh, definitely that would be very cinematic. Uh, it will be a very cinematic toy bag. So lots of camera angles. Uh, it's almost, I'm hoping to pull it off like you're going to play through an interactive movie. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting how that plays out. Because I want it to be very cinematic. Like, give Disney Fanny that the ending that it deserves. So, I'm hoping, Mr. Cool, that answers your question. And I hope you are looking forward to uh, Bow for the Toy Box uh, coming out soon. Now, our next question goes to um, Alex Finch, who is, uh, I'm pretty sure, I think he's like, uh, one of my um, followers on Twitter, as well as a follower on um, uh, this channel. So thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my work. And he says, uh, when are the release dates of the Epic Mickey 2, The Power 2, and Battle for the Toy Box, Toy Boxes? Okay. So like I said, there um, I have lots of projects in the works. And um, uh, definitely lots of projects. So, like, because I have Disneyland Project I'm soon to be wrapping up on. Um, Magic Mayhem Remastered coming out November 20th. Um, and, um, let's see. If I were to give, like, a pretty, pretty good idea of when I'm going to release Battle for the Toy Box and Epic Mickey 2 The Part 2, I would have to say sometime early next year. That's the goal. Because, uh, one thing I forgot to mention about, uh, Battle for the Toy Box is that it's going to be episodic. It's going to be episodic adventure. Uh, so there's going to be multiple toy box adventures, kind of like toy box tales. Like one toy box is an episode, then you play the next episode, and possibly maybe Battle for the Toy Box is going to be a total of three to four episodes. And Epic Mickey 2, The Power 2, is going to be a one huge toy box. Like it's going to be a toy box linked, linked uh, just like the, the, the last Epic Mickey toy box. And it's going to be a print and... Uh, condensed, uh, summed up version of Epic Mickey 2. It's not going to be the whole thing. It's going to be like a summed up version of it, but it's going to be pretty close. So hopefully that answers your question that Epic Mickey 2, The Power 2, and Battle for the Toy Box will be releasing sometime early next year. And uh, next question goes to another follower of mine, Vanellope Von Sweets. And she says, uh, make a Sugar Rush story for me. Okay, so... Um, I would hate to say this, but unfortunately, um, since due to like a whole bunch of projects I have planned, um, like I said, wrapping up with, um, Epic, uh, wrapping up with, um, Disneyland project, 
Still working on Magic Man Remastered. I have a whole bunch of projects lined up. And if I have too much on my table, I'm, not, I'm afraid I'm not going to get all of them done. So, unfortunately, I'm not making a Sugar Rush Storyline toy box. So, I apologize. I'm sorry. And I'm hoping that my other toy boxes... Uh, I'm hoping you'll enjoy my other toy boxes. So, my apologies. Um, next one goes to Mythical Snake. And he says, What's your favorite playset in Disney Infinity? Okay. That is a, that's a good question. That's a good, that's a good one. I would have to say, that's hard. Because, like, in each version of Disney Infinity, I have a favorite playset. So, if I were to go by that, I would say my first... In 1.0, my favorite one was Pirates of the Caribbean. Love that playset. Love the franchise. And I think they did a really good job with the world expo uh, exploration with that uh, playset. And it was really fun. And it was also really cool to uh, go on the ships and play... As uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, Davy Jones, and Barbosa. They're all really fun characters to play as. And it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, my second one from 2.0, I would say my second favorite would have to be Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's my favorite Marvel franchise of all time, uh, currently. Uh, hopefully we'll see, because uh, Doctor Strange does look really good. Um, but, uh, uh, but Guardians of the Galaxy, love that movie. Um... And they did a really good job of that playset and uh, had a blast playing as his characters fighting against Ronin and saving nowhere. It was really a blast. And from 3.0, I would have to say it's hard because for, for me, it's a toss up between Marvel Battlegrounds and the Finding Dory playset because like they were both really good. Like if I were to like to do verses uh, uh, for verses and like multiplayer, I would definitely go with Mar Marvel Battlegrounds. Because I'm a very competitive guy and I love fighting games, but like for like beauty, like for beauty and like really good like gameplay and story, like what makes it unique than Finding Dory? Like it's for person I thought it was a really good playset to end Disney Infinity off with. There was a really good farewell gift from the team. Finding Dory was a really good playset. So overall, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel Battlegrounds, and Finding Dory are my favorite playsets. I really enjoyed those. It's hard to pick one. Inside Out's really close, though. I really enjoy Inside Out, though. But I think Finding Dory was a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, next one. Next question goes is from uh, Cody Kendler. And he says, Your toy boxes are awesome. Would you accept my friendship requests? I believe, I believe I've been um, accepting friend requests for a while. I believe I accept yours. So be sure to check. I might be wrong. I'll probably have to go check again. It's been a while. But... Um, I'm, thank you for enjoying my toy boxes. It means a lot. I'm so glad that you enjoyed them. And I hope you'll be playing through my final content until, um, um, sometime March next year. So thank you so much. It means a lot to have, um, followers like you. And we have our last question, uh, from Niels, uh, Niels D uh, Deichman. I I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name. I'll just say Niels D. And he says, what Disney Fendi character is on your wish list? Uh, like, I bet you guys already know this. Um, but, I mean, I have him pretty much up against my wall right here. Like, right over there. Right here. Yep. It's like, it, it's Peter Pan. Hands down. It's like, it, it was so disappointing to see uh, Peter Pan get scrapped when he was this close uh, to being a character in August, like last August, we were so close, uh, but, um, yeah, Peter Pan would have been amazing, though, I mean, like, even though I have my favorite character in the game, Source of the Prince Mickey, Peter Pan, uh, is my second favorite, all-time favorite Disney character, and it meant a lot, because, um, I grew up with him, I love his personality, I love the movie, uh, it's, Oh, man. And it also meant a lot that um, that I was one of the uh, Toy Box Master Artists um, that picked him uh, for the uh, at the Toy Box Summit when, for picking the, the Toy Box uh, Master's Choice uh, character. And, um, yeah, I believe, like, the, um, the characters, I think, were, like, in the top four of, like, when we were voting. They were Peter Pan, Darkwing Duck, and I believe it was Beast and Hercules. I think, it, no, Goofy. It was Goofy and um, Beast. There you go. I think it was those four. 
And then Peter Pan uh, won the final vote. So I'm still disappointed that Peter Pan's not coming out. But thankfully, Kingdom Hearts has uh, Peter Pan in it. I can fight alongside with him all the time. So that's good. So that's one thing that uh, Kingdom Hearts did right. That I'm definitely looking forward to Kingdom Hearts, though. I'm super excited for that. Um, but um, yeah, so character wish list, Peter Pan. That uh, If Disney Infinity were to continue... That was like my number one character that I definitely would want him to come. So it's pretty disappointing, but I'll get through it. But in the meantime, I'm still a bit sour over it, but uh, nothing but a little Kingdom Hearts can't fix. Okay, so uh, anyways, that concludes uh, questions. Um, and before I go, I have a quick couple of announcements. Um, like I said before, um, a Disney Fanny, uh, Battle for the Toy Box, and Epic Mickey 2, The Power 2 are planned to come out early next year. But sometime in December, I have a Christmas toy box being planned. So if you guys have played my um, um, Halloween Town Carnival toy box, uh, that's um, fr uh, free to fr uh, download. It's friend shared. Feel free to check it out if you guys played it. Um, it's a heck of a lot of fun. I really enjoy building it. Um, so... Just like I build a Halloween toy box, I'm going to make a Christmas-themed toy box. It's not official of what the theme is going to be for the Christmas toy box. It could be another carnival. It could be a story toy box. I don't know. I haven't came up uh, with the theme yet, but I will eventually. So be on the lookout for a Christmas-themed toy box, and it will be friend-shared sometime on in December. Probably like December 1st, just like how the Halloween Town Carnival was released on uh, October 1st. So it'll have you into the, the holiday season uh, quickly in no time. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys uh, like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And also to all of you guys that have, have been following me since the beginning of this channel, thank you so much. Uh, it's highly appreciated. And I can't wait to celebrate another year uh, of this channel uh, when we bring uh, Kingdom Hearts into the mix. And don't forget... Uh, since I'm working on um, Kingdom Hearts now, uh, be sure to watch our first two couple of episodes of Kingdom Hearts Bros, which which is a new segment that's coming that's here on the channel that will eventually uh, take over Disney Fantasy. So feel feel free to check those out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy Halloween! <laughs>